Introduction to Algebra. In this lesson, we'll be looking at these objectives. We're going to define variables and expressions. We're going to translate from mathematical expressions to English. We're going to translate from English back to mathematical expressions. And we're going to take our mathematical expressions and evaluate them for a given value. What is algebra and why is it important? Uh, it turns out that in a lot of life models we have uh, mathematical expressions that help us model real life situations and in most of those cases the values that we would be using vary and because of these varying values we replace the numbers with variables and whereas we see 4 plus 3 in arithmetic we would be looking at possibly x plus y in algebra where we have variables representing unknown values or varying values. Here are the definitions. We have a variable is a letter or symbol that represents an unknown number and our other important definition is an algebraic expression or mathematical expression and that is a mathematical statement that may use numbers and at least one variable and it would combine these numbers and variables using our basic orders or our basic operations like addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, exponents, and etc. We want to be able to translate from uh, English to math and math to English and here are some translation words to look out for. When we see an addition, x plus 4, we can look at that as it's written, a number plus 4, or a number increased by 4. Uh, the word sum is the result of adding two numbers, so we can say the sum of a number and 4. Uh, we can also say a few others, like 4 more than a number, or 4 added to a number. When we have n minus 3, we can look at that in words as n minus 3, or a number decreased by 3, or the difference between a number and 3, if you remember the result of a subtraction is the difference. Uh, we can also say 3 less than a number, or 3 subtracted from a number. The other operations are multiplication and division. With multiplication we can say 3 fourths times a number. Uh, the result of multiplication is a product, so we can say the product of three-fourths and a number. And uh, for fractions and percentages, we can use the word of to represent multiplication. So three-fourths of a number is the same as saying three-fourths times y. For division, we can say a number divided by five. Or we can say the quotient of a number in five, again, the result of a division problem is a quotient uh, and it turns out that division can also be written as a fraction so we can say a number over five as our English translation. Here are some examples we can look at. Uh, w divided by six uh, we can say for the first one W divided by six we can also say the quotient of W and six for example. Uh, the next one a minus 8 we can say a minus 8 the way it is or we can say 8 less than a or you can say the difference between a and 8 uh, the last one 3 times y we can write it as it's written 3 times y or we can say the product of 3 and y or we can say 3 multiplied by y We also want to be able to go backwards so we can have a word phrase that can be translated into mathematical expression. x increased by 5. That can be rewritten as x plus 5. The quotient of 2 and r can be rewritten as 2 divided by r. The product of 7 and y can be written as 7 times y or 7y. few more here we have three more than a number so more than a number is an addition of sorts we have x plus three an amount divided by fifteen divided by so you can write that as a w divided by fifteen you can also write it as a fraction w over fifteen 
an amount decreased by 6. So we have an original amount and we want to subtract 6 from it. So y minus 6 would be an example. Our last objective is to evaluate algebraic expressions and we have algebraic expressions with variables. Usually our problem would be given with an algebraic expression with variables and some values or a value that we want to substitute in for the variable. So how do we evaluate an algebraic expression? We substitute the given value for each variable and we carry out the computation. So if our uh, expression looks like w plus 7 and w is given to be 8, we would have 8 plus 7 and that simplifies to 15. Our next example, 15 minus y, if y was equal to 3.21, we would write 15 minus y, which is 3.21, and 15 minus 3.21 is 11.79. And finally, we have q divided by 6. If your q was equal to 3.6, you would write 3.6 divided by 6, and that simplifies to 0 0.6.